Assalamu alaikum. Um, you mentioned a hadith earlier on about um, which is mentioned in Sahih Abu Daud, and you said that I can't remember the name of the Sahabi, but you said that I, he said I saw my father praying without his shoes and with his shoes on. In the commentary of this hadith, it mentions that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Sahaba, the only time they prayed with their shoes on was at the time of jihad no other time can you expand on this did you mean that we can pray with our shoes on at any time or did you mean that we pray with our shoes on at the time of jihad you will pose the question that i said in my talk and you quoted the hadith the reference i'll give you it's sunnah abu daud point number one chapter number 240 in the book of salah hadith number 653 it was Shoeb ibn omar who said his father said that his father he heard his father saying that the prophet prayed. What you said that the Sahaba said his father prayed. If the Sah it's not his father prayed. His father said that his father saw the prophet praying with his shoes on as well as barefooted. Regarding you saying that he, the prophet only prayed during jihad. That's totally wrong. There are several hadith. That's not the only hadith. If you go to a hadith before that in Sunnah Abu Daud, volume number one in the book of Salah, Chapter number 240, Hadith number 652, the Prophet said, Do the opposite of what the Jews do. They pray, removing their footwear. That means a commandment. So therefore, the scholar says, at least once in your lifetime, you should pray with your shoes on. But today, because the mosque is in a different situation as compared to that time, previously the mosque were made of, the ground was dirty and mud, that's why. Therefore, now when we go to the mosque, we take out our footwear. But yet, if you go to the haram, yet you'll find some people who wear clean shoes, the soles are clean, yet they go inside with shoes on. So, even you can pray with shoes on any time, but see to it, as the Prophet said, that clean your soles. You can even pray here, you don't have to pray only in jihad. That's a misconception. You can pray with your shoes on, but it, the soul should be clean. But as a general rule, because you go in a mosque, and the mosque nowadays, as compared to the time of the Prophet, now it's different, it has marble, it has clean flooring. That's the reason we, most of the time, when we go in the mosque, we take off our shoes. But if someone goes into the mosque, even with the shoes on, I'm sure most of the Muslims will catch him and even hammer him. <laughs> but the Prophet also went, you can go with your shoes on, but see to it is clean, but as a general rule, I advise you not to go, not that you can go, but because now it is a different thing, it's clean, etc. And how much you clean your soul, it may not be clean, but if you want, you can go. The Prophet has given permission, it is not only during jihad. Hope that answers the question.